today, Friday the 6th of August. Uh, I arrived in Barbados through arrangements made by Prime Minister Mia Montley and Eloise. And upon the advice of the doctors to have the experienced neurologist, neurosurgeon, Dr. Gill, to do the requisite tests and examinations to see whether everything is in order from a health standpoint. He discharged me this morning and he has concluded from his examination, his assessments, inquiry, tests, that there are no neurological deficits. However, he said as a result of the concussion which I have suffered, I have to have monitored over the next four to six weeks. my condition and to do in four to six weeks time another series of tests and examination to see if any bleeding emerges in the brain as a result of the concussion. I will follow his advice to the letter Dr. Ossie, consultant in St. Vincent and the Grenadines at the Milton Cato Memorial Hospital, accompanied me to Barbados. And he was with me at all times when Dr. Gill did all the examinations and the various technicians did all the requisite tests and inquiries. I I'm thus in good medical hands, and Dr. Arce is seized of all the relevant information about my health condition. I want to thank the hundreds of people who have sent text messages to me and to Eloise, expressing solidarity with me and condemning this senseless act of violence against me. Make no mistake about it. The person who threw the object at me, the projectile, that it hit me in my head, at the top of the head, it it could easily have come, as the doctors tell me, lower down to the temple. And where there could have been immediately far more serious damage. I take the assault upon me, not just as an injury, or an act of battery, but when you throw a stone or some other projectile at someone with the intention to hit them in their head, and given the delicate nature of one's head, you have in mind the intention to kill. You have the intention to cause serious bodily harm because the object which you are throwing doesn't have a laser designed to miss me. The intention was to hit me 
and they did. And to cause me serious damage or even loss of life. I want to make it absolutely clear that I view as sacred the voters, the votes which put me in Parliament from North Central Windward. And those voters have me there overwhelmingly in every election since 1994 and inclusive of the last one in 2020. A parliamentarian and a representative must have a right of access to his parliament unhindered and the right of egress unhindered. By all means, exercise your constitutional and lawful right to protest. But that doesn't give you a right to stop a parliamentarian from entering parliament or to do violence towards him. That is absolutely very clear. I will have more to say about this at a later date. 